Welcome back to another talking point where we're going to be talking about the secrets of the rich and the royals. Now, you may have spent many mornings waking up and wondering how these people managed to make and more importantly, retain their wealth. Well, the answer is probably easier than you thought, but if you want to know a little bit more about that, then stick around to the end of this video. Today, we're going to be touching on a word that we all know, but it's dreaded between everybody, which is, of course, tax. Now, we all loathe tax, uh, but we know it is there and it's always going to be there. That being said, for wealth masters, we always know how to work around taxes the right way and the legal way. And speaking of the legal way of doing things, each year, thousands of people get audited by SARS, and oftentimes they are completely unprepared. And in today's talking point, we're going to be looking at tax audits and verification in a little bit more detail. So joining me today is the MD of Destinata Accounting, Annalene Lamont. So Annalene, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Damien. It's nice chatting to you again. Now, Annie, in the article that you wrote last week, you spoke quite a lot about the difference between a verification and an audit from SARS. So for those who didn't see it or those who might be new to the channel, can you just give us a little bit more uh, indication of what the difference is between a verification and a actual audit from SARS? A verification is a face value authentication of the information declared by the taxpayer where an audit is more in-depth examination of the taxpayer's financial and accounting records. And then, Annie, a lot of our clients and people we work with, they own a lot of businesses, they own trusts and all of those things. So let's say someone has a company that is back registered. What would then be required for their tax audit? So I would assume that would be a little bit more intense. It's definitely more intense. So an accurate VAT report VAT, recon, and various invoices, which SARS will specify. Um, those are the main documents required. Um, I don't think any company wants a VAT audit, but unfortunately, it's, it's a reality for some. But if your calculations are accurately done, then you should have no concerns. And based on your experience in the accounting field, what are some of the common mistakes that you've seen with business owners when it comes to getting ready for their VAT audits? Non-disclosure of sales, incorrect or failure to disclose input VAT, and incorrect bookkeeping. So it's not everyone or bookkeepers that have knowledge of VAT. And I think it's important to have the right bookkeeper to deal with these things. Mm, absolutely. And then another thing that we've seen a lot of since COVID, um, a lot of people have been working from home and a lot of them still do work from home. So for those people, are there special claims that you can create with SARS through working from home? You definitely can claim home office expenses. However, the space must be equipped for office use only. Um, SARS can request a floor plan, pictures of office spaces, um, depreciation schedules, if applicable, and internet and telephone invoices. So these documents are very important to have on hand. And before your accountant do your tax returns, make sure you send all this information to your accountant. Now, Annie, of course, at the Wealth Masters Club, our core focus in the group is on property purchased and specialized trusts. So how would a trust need to prepare for a inevitable SARS audit? So the, this is very really important because some people do lack in sending us this information. Luckily, we have good admin staff who constantly contact our clients to get all the information in. So if there is property in a trust and is being rented out, make sure that you send the rental schedules, the bond statements, the municipal accounts, levy statements, every piece of document to do with that property please send it to your accountant because SARS does a lot of verifications on trust, especially with capital gains tax. The final segment of account is extremely important to send to your accountant so that the, the capital gains tax can be calculated correctly. The SARS are zooming in on trust and you need to send all your documentation through to your accountants. Right, Annie, and then the last question I've got. We've spoken a lot today about documentation and things that need to be supplied and what needs to go where. 
So obviously the biggest tip is making sure that you've got the right accountant or bookkeeper helping you with your taxes when it comes to an audit. But if you are working with, let's say, Destin Art Accounting, how often should the client be supplying the information to you and how do you then manage that information? I suggest they send it to us on a monthly basis as we have a server where we save all the supporting documents and we have it on hand in case of a SARS audit. Fantastic. Annie, thank you so much for the time and your insights today. And if you at home want to find out more about the Wealth Masters Way or how we can answer the question of how do the rich and the royals make and keep their wealth, then you need to register for our online free training courses which are coming up. Now, at the time of recording this, we have ended all training for 2022, but we've been absolutely inundated with requests to extend our free training online from January. So you spoke and we listened. So if you click on the link in the description below, then you can register for our training, which will be taking place in January. And like I said, it is absolutely free. And you will then see how and why we do what we do and how our team of expert service providers can guide you through every step of the way on your wealth creation journey. But for now, that is all we have time for. And I will see you all again next week. Until then, bye-bye.